Hey guys, Artosis here with another cast, and this one is from the Moonlight Star League, or Moonlight Pro League, rather, sorry. This is a crowd-funded uh, Pro League thing that happens kind of in the middle of the night in Korea. Uh, yeah, and I was fortunate enough to get some games, so big cheers. Thank you. Uh, uh, let's let's talk about the players. <laughs> we have Scan in the bottom right, of course you know him. We've been doing a lot of Scan replays, waiting for the next uh, Star League to start up for replays of that and in the top left we have barracks okay so a tvt we haven't had one of these on the channel in a very long time uh so even if you don't like tvt you should enjoy this one uh the map is polypoid they are cross spawns obviously we gotta wait and see what openers they do because that can definitely make a big difference as to who has the edge but i would say overall i think barracks is a bit better in terran versus terran than scan um barracks always has really cutting edge builds and i think he has like, uh, has good star sense TVT, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. It's just, there's something about his play that I really, I really like Barracks TVT. I think he's one of the, one of the stronger up-and-coming Terrans for that matchup, whereas, uh, I believe TVT is actually scanned statistically his weakest matchup. So, just something to know. But, of course, it really matters, uh, how they're gonna end up opening. It looks like this is just gonna be a forward 11 racks from Barracks. Uh, and just a regular barracks in main base from scan. So it looks like scan will probably go gas with this and barracks definitely will go gas with this. Um, so I mean, which build is better here? I would say that barracks is, is a little tiny bit better. This doesn't make a huge difference, but the reason he puts his barracks here is twofold. One, if there is a fast expansion, he can rally his Marines to it a little bit quicker to put some additional pressure. And two, uh, his barracks will get to his opponent a little bit quicker. As far as scan goes, I mean, he's just doing a very standard factory expansion, it looks like. Obviously, he could do some sort of uh, one base cheese, but not too common on this map. Now, scan going to go ahead, scout to the top right. Going to find him second, it looks like. And yeah, we just kind of wait now to see if there's going to be anything crazy or if it's just going to be factory into command center. SCV coming out for barracks. You know, this does uh, give you a little bit more economy uh, as the forward barracks player, which may seem counterintuitive, but you generally don't scan until the barracks is done because you have two scouts coming out, right? The Marine that can just go directly to the south here. Yes, if he goes checks another main, and then you realize, oh, okay, he's bottom, you know, bottom right. In fact, with the uh, SCV coming out of this main base, Varix knows that timing so well, he just turns his Marine and goes towards the bottom right, which is kind of nice. Uh, Scan also doing some scouting here with the Marine, which I think is kind of cool. Kind of neat, kind of different. Four health <laughs> left on this Marine, so... Luckily for Barracks, he did get that first shot. Ooh, turns it around in the nick of time there against Scan's second Marine. Very well done. And of course, the factory's coming up on both sides. No gas there uh, for, for Barracks. Scan already starting uh, upon his, his command center. Look at this. Oh my god, this harassment from Barracks is actually really great. Ooh, he's got a... Well, I guess he has a Vulture coming down, so he's going to be fine. But keeping on top of that Marine is so nice. So well done. And kills that off before it finishes the bunker, very importantly. I'm surprised that Barracks even started that bunker, because it seemed like that was not going to work out. Now, he has gone into a 3 depot opener before his command center. So, his build got thrown off a little bit as he tried to get aggressive after winning that first Marine fight, and scan... Basically parried it perfectly. So Scan now is up in SCV, plus his uh, command center is quite a bit further along, right? 75 seconds for command center, so it looks like he's got about... What is it? About a fourth more, so that's going to be another two SCVs that he should be able to get ahead here uh, of his opponent. Now Scan immediately going into three factory. Second factory coming down. Ah, and is this an armory? Yes. So this is no add-on uh, vultures or... Okay, it looks like he made three total. And he'll definitely go across the map and try to pressure with this, I think. But it looks like Scan is going to have three of his own. I guess if he got out of position, that would get really good for Barracks. But Barracks following up with the uh, armory. So he's going to be going into Goliaths for an anti-vulture. Goliaths early on do very, very well against vultures. 
Um, so, yeah, I guess I guess we'll just see what his follow up is to there because Scan is going to gain map control pretty darn quickly. But with the Goliaths, I mean, you have some options. Like you can go drop ship with them. He's actually only making a siege tank. Which oh, a second, a second add on for barracks. Oh, that's interesting. Now, Barracks actually takes a very good engagement on this hill. And with his three vultures, he does end up uh, beating the three... Oh, my God. <laughs> this one lives somehow as the others rally out. But, yeah. Kind of weird to see him just go directly into two factories with siege tanks. Because if Scan just sends his vultures across the map, it's a little bit hard to protect your SCVs. Like, siege tank damage output is not that, that quick. And look, he's making a Goliath immediately with this one as well. So maybe he's realized that he's been a little bit too greedy here. Yeah, he should be putting down another building. I would put down a barracks maybe even. Okay, he has double depot and tank walls. Yeah, that that's a, that's a good choice because look, immediately up come these SCVs. And this is huge for Scan. Oh my god. Scan gonna get so far ahead from this. And this is because he just kind of like went double add-on right away instead of making any goliaths so this was very very greedy from barracks and now barracks is down he went down 11 scvs 24 against 35 so this is hugely hugely scan favored right now now barracks is making a couple more goliaths four goliaths is a good number to kind of keep uh vultures off of your back a couple siege tanks being made and yeah there's not a lot here for barracks Right? Like, he's he's getting his comp stats, which he definitely needs, because mines are going to be coming up very shortly. Yeah, Scan starts to lay them. But, honestly, on Barrack's side, I think all you can do right now is produce SCVs and produce Siege Tanks. And that's it. And just try to scale up and be like, okay, I'm going to have more Siege Tanks than my opponent. I'm going to have less economy, but that's playable. That's playable. Okay, now these mines that you see Scan laying, these are to block this from dropping down and landing and blocking his uh, unit rotation. So nice mines there from Scan as he gets into Siege Tank production. Zone Academy on the way. Some good mines being laid all over the place, just slowing down these bases. And yeah, it's going to be hard <laughs> to really pull a fast one here. Oh, this is not what I expected out of uh, out of barracks. He comes down and will pick off this barracks really, really quickly. But when you see the double add-ons spinning, look at this. Oh, Scan's uh, scout here and the fifth factory. He sees the fifth factory. So he knows exactly what's going on. This is a purely aggressive move out of barracks. So he'll utilize three siege tanks and four goliaths as his anti-vulture. And then he'll probably just pump Vulture out of the rest of his factories to try to gain some map control himself. Now, it's this is an okay move. Like, if your opponent gets map control Vultures, this is definitely one tactic that you can do to try to regain that. But with Scan, if he just produces Siege Tanks nonstop and puts them in Siege Mode and then explodes his factories on three bases, there's no way a Contain is going to work for Barracks. His economy is still going to be far behind. All Scan really needs to do here is Super Turtle. I'm talking lay some mines here, a couple tanks sieged, and then just kind of do a siege line from like here to up here. And that's like, you're just, you're not going to break that. You're just not going to break that as barracks. But you know what? He's taking that risk and we're going to see if that pays off. Scan, of course, has a bunch of intel. This. He's trying to come around. He's really trying to come around. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, one tank does end up getting caught. The Vulture's gonna come down uh, to that, that 6 o'clock base. And now suddenly the Goliaths might be trapped. Vulture's on the high ground. Gonna be a hard fight for him. Hmm. Okay, the tank's coming down to flank. So it looks like these Goliaths are dead as well. But here comes the big Vulture rally. Uh, out of barracks so scan might get caught off guard here a little bit he's brought so many units over to the side to fight against so few units and now oh my god this is going to be insane a huge vulture uh vulture counter coming out of barracks lays down some mines here behind those tanks we'll see if he can end up getting them but kills a good amount of scvs and look the scv count is actually very similar now Something to mention. Barracks, I, you know what? I think overall he did a reasonable job with this. It didn't feel like he should have. 
but I think Scan just slightly out of position, having a hard time. Scan now up to five factories as well. And so the big advantage that Scan has now, because it's no longer an SCV advantage, he's actually slightly behind there, but is producing more, is he has that extra command center. So he can produce three SCVs at a time. He has more mineral patches, obviously. Uh, he has started plus one, and plus one is going to be finishing relatively soon. No starport. He's getting more facts, so he should still, like, he's still at an advantage, but a lot of that, like, um, Barracks did a lot to get himself back in the game, I would say. Scan now starting to siege up. Barracks really trying to push here. Hmm. Look at this, getting a great setup. These siege tanks a little bit out of position, so we're gonna have barracks control the ramp area. Still scan, sending the siege tanks. He has that high ground advantage, and yeah, I think barracks has to pull back. He knows it. Loses a single siege tank. Trying to keep that pressure on. He is building his own third CC. Still slightly up in SCV, so that's kind of a big deal as well. And I think Scan is mostly stabilized. He's also got three add-ons, four siege tanks, four other factories. So the seven fact production against five starport on the way here for barracks. He's trying to do a bit of a contain, but this should not end up working. Like if Scan just gets two to three groups of units here, he should be able to attack through at least one area of the contain. You can see he's just starting to bring his tanks up and pushing him back. Like, Barracks is trying to slow him down and trying to get him to make a mistake. Because this is just, it's too much area to cover with such a low supply for Barracks. Look at this, 110 supply, you just, you can't cover that much. Especially when Scan has seven factories. This macro is going to be coming fast and furious at this point. We do go up to three add-ons here for Barracks as well. Throws down another macro fact. Getting an add-on for the starport also. He's getting his plus one. Scan now. He does have his starport getting his science facility so he can get into his plus two, which is so important. He's actually kind of walked around this little contain. Again, this contain not doing much. It chokes up the middle here, but that's it. Whereas Scan walking around with even more siege tanks. So that's going to kind of strand these tanks out there, but also give Scan a very powerful position. So he's moving these tanks up into position. Oh my god, this is such a strong area. If he can siege here... The rallies out here uh, of Barracks are really going to suffer. Now, Barracks going to try to break through this. He does catch it before it sieges fully. Trying to get up here and lay some mines on. Beautiful mines getting laid. A lot of splash damage going down on those tanks. Oh, no. <laughs> and Scan's tanks all end up dying here. So that was a very clean, very excellent clear there from Barracks. I tell you, Barracks really showing his skill TVT. He got so far behind early on. Uh, to that the vulture counterattack, like his opening didn't seem that good, it didn't seem that strong, but his mid game uh, has has looked phenomenal. He's really fought back awesomely. But scan having that edge basically throughout the game, still putting on that damage, gets some more SCVs. Still the SCV counts okay, 66 is fine. Like it, TVT is a match where you can go up to 80 SCVs and be happy about it, but 66 is not like end of the world. Scan with a very small siege here. Very similar to what we see from uh, from Barracks as well. Barracks kind of doing what Scan did also, right? Like running way around the map right now. Scans and sees the tanks moving up. Well, oh, gets one little hit. Scan does have this mineral only base up. Let's take a look. Okay, dropship being produced. He does have the three gas. And we don't really... Yeah, it, it looks like he's getting a same armory and stuff too. But hold on. We actually have a breakout now. Barracks trying to push down with the siege tanks. Of course, he will clear that small amount. And when you have like three tanks up, it doesn't take that much to clear it. It's a little bit annoying to deal with, but definitely something can be broken if you have some vultures with your tanks. The vultures coming up, laying mines here behind Scan's tanks on the north. The south, though, really doing a great job as tanks are going around this doodad. It's several free kills there. In fact, might end up getting this one as well if he throws down a Scan. Yeah, it does do that. 
But Barracks is actually... Okay, we got to zoom way out because Terran vs. Terran is basically like the board game Go. Uh, oh, I hear a little bit of a drop going down over here. Hey, that's not too bad. And going to be able to take a little SCV lead here once again. And kind of keeping Scan busy as well. Also sees the timing of this space. Very important. Looks like Scan had a similar idea, but Barracks more in position to deal with that at the natural. And Scan was for his main. Okay. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go and zoom out on Scan. Ooh, a nice tactic here. Dropping SCVs onto the Siege Tank to kill it. But look. Siege Tank's here, kind of blocking... Movement here. Sea Chang's here, blocking movement through the middle. Sea Chang's here, blocking movement. So there's not like a lot of ways out for Scan right now as Barracks moves forward, taking over some of these areas. I think he does need to back up. You cannot fight against the high ground right there, but he might be able to deny this base. Scan moving forward with a big army now. Barracks finding himself unseaged and in a bit of trouble with a slightly smaller force. So Scan pushes him back reasonably well, but a lot of Vultures running up to this new base. Not many SCVs too fine, but can at least do some damage. Let's take a look down here. Yeah, another little drop. Not really finding any damage. Going to lose that dropship as well, but I think it did fine for him. Still Scan dropping out these SCVs to help break the tank line. Does have a couple uh, uh, dropships full of tanks as well, so he might go for a bigger drop. Of course, if that starts to not work, you're going to be in trouble. Dropping out a few of his own tanks here. Breaking that containment. Ooh, good mine hit. He does have those 2-1 upgrades ahead of Barracks. So he's going to start trading more efficiently. But with only four tanks over to the side, Barracks quickly destroys them. Taking over that area once again. Barracks right now up in supply, up in SCVs. Taking his own fourth. Switching into Cloaked Wraiths as well. Kind of interesting to see as a choice. But I guess against Dropships, that's always going to be a good choice to just kind of produce Wraiths so that you can end up catching these. Another drop into the main base. Just a suicidal one, it looks like, over the missile turrets. But again, buying some time as Barracks continues to roam around the center of the map. He's really kind of taking map control at this point, isn't he? Like, he, I mean, it's not full by any means... But Scan, it feels like Scan is more boxed in. And a lot of it is him having to clear these little drops out. Some good army movements from Barracks. He's even got mines over here blocking the command center. Hmm. Okay, so Scan very strongly moving into this area. Ooh, loses some Goliaths. Two mines there. But strongly moving into the area just to kind of take over a side of the map. And I think this is an important moment because as Barracks is, you know, once again, sieging up and kind of controlling, right? This is the halfway point. So if you're beyond that at all, like that actually matters in TBT. Even areas that don't have expansions, it's more about controlling the map than it is about having a certain expansion numbers at certain times. It doesn't really play like the other matchups because you're so cost efficient if you have more of the map. But yeah, it, I think it was important for Scan to move down here and actually take this bottom left part of the map. Uh, this this stops a lot of the unit movement, which is strong. Now, a drop coming up. Oh, it's just a set it and forget it drop, which those vultures catch immediately. And the Wraith's coming out. We'll kill off the dropship. But the Wraith's now out of position here. Oh my god, this is the moment right now for Scan. This is where he can actually get a massive advantage. Drops out a lot of Siege Tanks. Now, he doesn't have Goliaths with this. So the Wraiths can clear it, but he can be very efficient in the time that he's here. You don't want to lose all your buildings. Like, you can kill off Armories, Siege Tanks that are coming in. So we see him trying to get in here to clear it out. The Wraiths should be flying back to help. Meantime, is Barracks going to try to hit elsewhere? Gets one of the Armories. And before the armor upgrade was done, which is kind of nice. It's not the biggest deal, that upgrade, but it's something. I think overall that was a very good drop from Scan. Uh, you know, if he had even two Goliaths in there, it would have been much, much better. But here we go. Now Barracks trying to push elsewhere. Thinking Scan might be spread a little bit too thin. Maybe he's right about that. But Scan bringing his reinforcements up, sieging them on the high ground. Oh, the Goliaths bleeding into the Siege Tank army a little bit too quickly. Scan's still not able to mine 
from this three o'clock base another big drop comes off in the main base this time with goliaths so he's going to be even more efficient this time but barracks being very serious about this bringing a lot of units tanking there with the vultures and it looks like he will in fact clear that out all right excellent well I said clear it out, but two, five health and two health. All right, <laughs> it's like, how did that happen? Uh, but finally does kill that off. Okay, so a lot of vultures coming to uh, kind of reinforce this scan. Still trying to use these uh, SCV drop techniques. Wraith's giving him a little bit of trouble, but he does have a big army in the center. He has more army supply right now since his SCV count has dropped a bit. And he's breaking through one part of that contain. There's another part over here. Scan is taken bottom left. Both bases during this. So it's a single uh, Goliath out here, which is kind of funny. Feels like he is starting to gain some control. Kind of funny to see how this goes, right? Like the more frontal containment force of barracks in front of his two bases in the top right. And then on scan side, the more frontal in front of his two bases in the bottom left. So it is becoming a bit of a split map game. It doesn't feel big enough yet to get into like battle cruisers or anything. It definitely feels like there's a lot of options for running around with mech and still dealing damage. In fact, look at this as I say it. Barrack's going to run some vultures by into this bottom left area that doesn't have any defense other than missile turrets. So he's going to end up losing a decent chunk of SCVs there as well. In the meantime, looks like something similar happening here with some drop ships, uh, getting sea shanks on the high ground, laying down some mines, killing off a ton of SCVs here as well. Ooh, he might even end up killing this command center. No, doesn't quite target it. Oh, never mind. He ends up getting it there as the vultures get too close. And yeah, a lot of SCVs die, but still barracks with a big, big SCV count. All right, dropships coming over to this side. Uh, don't forget, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock still have not been taken. So those are definitely bases that could be fought over a little bit later. They're dropping out a single Goliath to deal with that Wraith chasing down the dropships. A lot of SCVs seem to be stuck here as they go towards 12. Ooh, look at the path that Scan has found to the top right. Gonna go ahead and unload as the tanks are leaving. So that is bad news right there. That is very hard to break. Three, two upgrades on the high ground. You have to walk up a ramp to deal with that. So that does not look doable, but Farrakh's gonna pull the rest of his units. I think that he needs to make some giant attack somewhere. And this is not the location. Way too many siege tanks here. Farrakh's starting to move over to the left side. Oh, that's a good spread as well, but not many units down in this area. Can he find the opening scan actually coming and trying to mirror that movement? Gets forward with his Goliaths and Vultures getting on top of the Seed Shanks. And I think that he's going to whittle this down enough that the force of these tanks is not going to be enough for Barracks anymore. And after all of this, I am looking at this game and it looks... It went from very, very even, like a pretty dominating early game from Scan into Barracks really coming back and making it very even, into now I can't imagine Scan losing. These units are all stuck out in the middle. Scan has a ton of dropships. He has great upgrades on his mech. He has these bases in the bottom left, whereas there's nothing mining in the top right here for barracks. He is almost dry. He's got this mineral base, and this one's going dry as well up at 12. So barracks still trying to make some strong moves towards the bottom left, but Scan coming over with his dropships. All he has to do is prevent this top le bottom left base from dying off. Ooh, a sick mine hit there. Looks like he will just barely hold this high ground. Sea Shanks coming down. Scan bringing part of his containment force down to pincer them. And I think we are getting to the end of this game. There's just not many plays left here for Barracks. He's got a few units. He's got like four drop ships. <laughs> Very little gas left over. If he had even one more mining base, this is, this is a game that could go on and still be fought over. But as is, Scan just has like infinity more than him by having these bottom two left bases. He's got a bank. He's got way more supply. It's looking good. A few tanks out in the center. Kind of a containment force. Four dropships are full. 
yeah, he, he, he can drop here and and maybe do something with this. But I think that Scan can counter with his own drops. Plus CVs, pull tanks. Barracks rallying down towards the center still. Oh, running into mines. Ooh, that was a big mine hit as well. T killing off a tank and taking a ton of health off the others also. Yeah, the SCV's coming out. I tell you, this this was a great move from Barracks, and he's got these positions in such a way that they hit this base and this, but Scan with way too many dropships coming in. This army already really softened up. <coughs> Looks like uh, he wanted to. Uh, Barracks wanted to come back down and counter drop on it or add reinforcements, but it's not going to be very doable. Looks like he's sneaking. Got to unload here. See if he can stop this base still, but Scan... He catches it before his dropships get too far away. Going to drop on top of it. His Goliath's doing a great job helping to clean this up. And I think we are extremely close now to GG. There's just... Uh, Barracks is rubbing two nickels together to make a quarter right now. And it is not working out for him. Like, he's taking another mineral base. But he's out of minerals here. 1,000 gas left. This one's 700 gas left. Depleted. Ugh. Yeah. And yeah, not not very much left here for Barracks. Down 60 supply at the moment. I think any more moves that occur will have to uh, result, unless it's like extremely Barracks-sided, it should result in a GG from Barracks. Anything Scan does, uh, any damage he gets, any damage he prevents. Barracks flying towards that bottom left. The last chance. Let's see it. He just doesn't have much in here. A few vultures in there as well. Vultures at this point in the game, not the greatest thing to drop. Yeah. Gonna try to lay some mines, perhaps. And yeah, that should be just about that. And this was the uh, Moonlight Pro League. Scan against Barracks. GG. Scan wins.